What's up everyone? Today we are talking about Chesapeake Energy. Let's get into the numbers. We've got a decline of 18.60% with an according drop of $3.51 per share today. Chesapeake currently trades at $15.36 per share. The 52-week low is $7.77 per share and the 52-week high is $430 per share. Short interest is 37.93%. Market cap is $182.68 million. Volume is $4 million today. And as a quick reminder, in this channel I am posting daily videos Monday through Friday on the most popular stock, good or, good or bad, of each trading day. So please consider subscribing if you are interested in this, and leave a like on this video. So, to go right into it, today we learned from a report from Reuters that Chesapeake is likely to file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy as early as this week. This is really bad news, but certainly not surprising because we heard in May that Chesapeake might be interested in filing for bankruptcy. We also learned that Chesapeake is in the process of negotiating a $900 million loan to support itself during the bankruptcy procedure. So let's be honest, things at Chesapeake are looking really bleak right now. Currently, Chesapeake has a debt load of over $9 billion, so if this company is going to make it through this, it will undoubtedly never be the same. According to Reuters, if in fact Chesapeake gets out of bankruptcy, its creditors, mostly consisting of Franklin Resources, will take over the company. For those of you who may not know much about Chesapeake, this company has been a leading player in the energy sector for many years, mainly known for their adoption of the populated fracking process to extract oil and gas from rocks. Chesapeake was founded in 1989 and quickly centralized its business around natural gas. However, its bet on natural gas ultimately proved costly because a surplus of natural gas in the 2000s lowered prices and hurt the business. And company CEO Aubrey McClendon was speculated to be involved in illicit finance activities prior to his death. Chesapeake has been struggling in the past decade, but coronavirus in combination with the Saudi and Russian flooding of the oil markets devastated their businesses, proving to be too much for them to stay afloat. And Chesapeake isn't the only company struggling. 19 American oil and gas companies have filed for bankruptcy this year. So, the oil glut may have been good for gas prices, but it destroyed many companies. And yes, for the climate, you might think this is beneficial, but these companies employ many people who lost their jobs. And natural gas is also relatively clean and has become a vital part of our country. So to summarize, we got a large decline in CHK stock today due to the sad but anticipated news that Chesapeake could file for bankruptcy as early as this week and specifically this Thursday. This stock is up 100% from its lows of around 7 bucks a share, but in the past year it is down more than 94% and in the past 5 years it is down around 99%. And it's no mystery why Chesapeake is a failing company, but for many day traders, it's been lucrative to trade because of its wild slings. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Please consider subscribing if you enjoyed it, and hope to catch you in tomorrow's video.